Georgie Luckock's The Theory of the Novel stands as a seminal work in literary criticism, particularly in its exploration of the novel as a form and its evolution through history. Published in 1916, Luckock's treatise examines the novel not merely as a literary genre but as a reflection of the social and philosophical currents of its time. Central to Luckock's analysis is his assertion that the novel is uniquely equipped to portray the complexities of modern life. Unlike other literary forms such as epic poetry or drama, which often idealize or simplify characters and events, the novel embraces the fragmented and contradictory nature of existence. It captures the everyday struggles, aspirations, and moral dilemmas of individuals within a rapidly changing society. Luckix argues that the novel's rise in prominence parallels the emergence of capitalism and the modern bourgeoisie. As societies became more urbanized and industrialized, traditional social structures and values were destabilized. The novel, according to Luckix, responded to this upheaval by portraying characters who are confronted with existential questions, navigating through a world where traditional certainties are eroded. One of Luckick's key concepts is the transcendental homelessness of the novel's protagonists. This term encapsulates the sense of alienation and rootlessness experienced by characters who are adrift in a society that no longer provides clear moral or social frameworks. This theme is evident in many classic novels that Luckix analyzes, such as Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment and Thomas Mann's The Magic Mountain, where characters grapple with their identities and moral responsibilities in the face of societal changes. Furthermore, Luckix delves into the narrative techniques employed by novelists to convey this existential condition. He discusses the use of interior monologue, stream of consciousness, and fragmented narrative structures as ways to represent the inner lives and subjective experiences of characters. These techniques, according to Luckix, allow the novel to explore the depths of human consciousness in a manner that other literary forms cannot emulate. In addition to its analysis of individual novels, the theory of the novel offers a broader historical perspective on the development of the genre. Luckix traces the novel's evolution from its roots in the picaresque and epistolary traditions to the more psychologically complex novels of the 19th and early 20th centuries. He identifies key figures such as Cervantes, Richardson, Balzac, and Tolstoy as pioneers who expanded the novel's thematic and stylistic possibilities. Critically, Luckix emphasizes the novel's potential to critique existing social conditions and ideologies. By depicting characters from different social classes and exploring their interactions, novels can expose contradictions and injustices within society. This critical function, according to Luckix, is essential for literature to maintain its relevance and vitality. The theory of the novel has had a lasting impact on literary criticism and continues to influence scholars studying the development of the novel as a genre. Its emphasis on the novel as a reflection of historical and social forces has inspired subsequent generations of critics to explore how literature engages with and shapes the world around it. Overall, Luckick's work invites readers to reconsider the novel not only as a form of entertainment or escapism but as a profound exploration of human experience. By examining the existential dilemmas, narrative techniques, and social critiques embedded within the novel, Luckix encourages us to appreciate its complexity and enduring significance in an ever-changing world.